It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be dividing rational numbers that are decimals. And we're going to learn first all about how to write a long division problem given a division problem. We're going to begin our lesson with our objective. Our objective is that you will divide rational numbers in decimal form. The question I'd like you thinking about today as we go through this lesson is how we're dividing rational numbers in decimal form and dividing integers similar. So again, integers are whole numbers and their opposites, which they're rational numbers too, but decimals aren't integers, but they're rational numbers. So rational numbers in decimal form means we're gonna have positive and negative decimals. Let's begin by reviewing some vocabulary pertaining to division. So here's a division problem, and we wanna know what it is equal to. So we need to understand some vocabulary words because I'm going to use them in this video. So the first thing I wanna know is I have division. So I'm gonna make my long division symbol, and then I need to know how to do this. So we have what we call here 0 0.75 is what we refer to as the dividend, and that goes underneath our long division symbol. 0 0.5 is what we call our divisor. The dividend is being divided by the divisor. And then we have our question mark, which is our quotient. That's our answer. What is it? And we call the answer to a division a quotient. So let's set this up using the numbers. We're gonna start with 0 0.5 is going to be divided by 0 0.5, which will give us our quotient. So you start inside. 0 0.75 is being divided by the divisor 0 0.5. All right, how to divide rational numbers in decimal form? Here's our checklist. So we're gonna start with step one. We're gonna determine the sign of the quotient. Very important to make a plan. So we're gonna use the same signs rule that we've been using all along. The quotient of two values with the same sign will always be positive. So if they're both positive, positive quotient. If they're both negative, still a positive quotient. And we have our different signs rule. The quotient of two values with different signs will always be negative. So if one value is positive and the other value is negative, then we have a negative quotient. And it doesn't matter if it's the dividend or the divisor. It's going to be negative if just one of them is negative. Step two, we're gonna move the decimal point to the right to make the divisor a whole number. Step three, we're gonna move the decimal point the same number of places to the right in the dividend. And then we have step four, where we're gonna place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. And step five, we're gonna divide until there is no remainder or until the quotient begins to repeat in a pattern. So you can see we've used our vocabulary words here, divisor, dividend, and quotient. Here are those steps in a graphic organizer. So we're gonna begin by writing our problem, then we're gonna write the problem as long division and go over to our five steps and put our answer in our answer box. Let's begin with this practice. We're asked to divide zero and 75 hundredths divided by 0 0.5 or 5 tenths. So let's go to our graphic organizer and bring in our problem. Now we're gonna write this as long division. So we have 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.5. Now we're ready to begin and we're going to step one where we're gonna determine the sign of the quotient and write our positive or negative sign in our step five box to make sure we don't forget. So same signs or different signs. We have a positive divided by a positive, same signs. So we're going to our same signs rule where we know the quotient when they have the same sign is positive and we're recording that in our box. So we can't forget and we know that we're prepared when we get to the end. All right, step two, we're gonna move the decimal point to the right to make the divisor a whole number. So this is our divisor, and we want this to be a whole number. 
So I'm going to take this nest bump point and I'm going to move it one space to the right so that I have five instead of five tenths. Step three says to move the decimal point the same number of places to the right in the dividend. So I moved one decimal place. So I'm going to my dividend and I'm going to take this decimal point and I'm going to move it one decimal point to the right. So now my dividend is 7.5 or seven and a half, seven and five tenths. Step four, we're going to place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. So going to the dividend, we're going straight up and placing that decimal point where we're ready for our quotient. Our quotient is going to be our answer to our division problem. Step five, we're ready to divide until there is no remainder or the quotient begins to repeat in a pattern. So we now have five. Our divisor is five. We want to know five goes into seven how many times? We know it goes in once. One times five is five. And now we know we're going to subtract. Seven subtract five is two. We're going to bring down our next digit, which is a five. Five goes into 25 five times. Five times five is 25. We're going to subtract and we get that we have now a remainder of zero. So our quotient is one and five tenths or 1.5 and we have our reminder that it was positive. All right, now it's your turn. I'd like you to find the quotient of two and five tenths divided by negative 25 hundredths. Let's go to our graphic organizer, bringing in our problem, and I'm gonna ask you to pause the video here, write the problem as long division, and go on to step one and complete as much as you can on your own. Come back and hit play when you're ready to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. So let's write our problem as long division. We're gonna start with 2.5 divided by negative 0.25. So we're ready to determine our sign. Step one, we want to know if they're the same signs or different signs. Positive, negative, they are different signs and our quotient will be negative, which we're going to take that and record it in our step five box. So now we won't forget that there's a negative sign. If you're doing an assignment or a test or a quiz on a computer, go ahead when you evaluate that at the beginning and put that negative sign in your box so you don't forget. Step two, we're gonna move the decimal point to the right to make the divisor a whole number. Here's my divisor, and now I have to move it two spaces to the right to make it a whole number. Step three, I need to move the decimal point the same number of places to the right in the dividend. So. I have to go two spaces, which means I need to add a zero, one, two, and put my decimal point. Step four, we're gonna place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. So I need to go straight up and add a decimal point. So now I can see that I have 250 divided by 25. So now we're gonna divide until there is no remainder or the quotient is in a repeating pattern. So we go back and we wanna say 25 does not go into two, but 25 goes into 25 once. We're gonna keep our negative sign here just to keep us honest. We have a negative and a positive. So one times 25 is 25. We're gonna subtract 25, subtract 25 is zero. I'm gonna bring down that last digit because we have to go until the decimal point. 25 goes into zero, zero times. Zero times 25 is zero. We subtract and we're gonna have a remainder now of zero and all of our digits are full until the decimal point. So you cannot stop until you have all the digits filled in to the decimal point. So my quotient is negative 10, I can drop that down in my answer box and I had my reminder, but I also captured my negative sign. Here's another one for you. Divide negative two and 35 hundredths divided by five tenths. So again, here's our graphic organizer bringing in our problem. Go ahead and pause, do your best work and come back to see mine. Welcome back. So let's write this as long division. 
we're going to start with our negative 2 and 35 hundredths divided by 5 tenths. Step 1, we're going to determine the sign. We have a negative and a positive. So I have different signs. My quotient will be negative, and we're going to record that in our answer box. Step 2, we're going to move the decimal point to the right to make the divisor a whole number. So we're going to go one decimal place to the right to make this a whole number of 5. Step 3, we're going to move the decimal point the same number of places to the right in the dividend. So we're going one digit to the right here. We're moving that over to between the 3 and the 5. And step 4, we're going to place our decimal point in the quotient directly above. So here's our arrow, there's our decimal point. So we have two digits we need to take care of before the decimal point in our quotient. Now we're ready to divide until there's no remainder or a repeating pattern. So 5 does not go into 2. 5 goes into 23. Remember, it's negative, so we'll bring up our negative sign. 5 goes into 23 four times. 4 times 5 is 20. Now we're going to subtract. 23 subtract 20 is 3. We're going to bring down our next digit. We have 35. 5 goes into 35 seven times. 7 times 5 is 35. We subtract, and we now have our remainder of 0. So our quotient is negative 4 and 7 tenths. We bring that down to our answer box, and we had our safety net there, right? We knew it was going to be negative. And here's the last one for you to practice in this video. Find the quotient of negative 3 and 6 tenths divided by negative 1 and 2 tenths. Here's your graphic organizer bringing forward your problem. Pause now and come back to check your work. Welcome back. So let's write our long division. We have 3 and 6 tenths divided by 1 and 2 tenths. I dropped the negative signs here because we've already noted that we're going to have right here, step 1, you should have done that first. We're going to have the same signs because they're both negative. So with the same signs, we have that it's going to be positive. So that's why I dropped those signs, right? I recognized right away, early on, same sign, positive quotient. Step two, we're going to move to the decimal point to the right in the divisor to make it a whole number. So I'm going one digit to the right here, making that 12. My divisor is now 12. Step three, we're going to do the same to the dividend. So I went one digit. I'm going to go one digit in my dividend, and here we go. And Step four, we're going to go from here, from the dividend, straight up and put our decimal point in our quotient. And step five, we're ready to divide. So 12 does not go into three. 12 goes into 36 three times. Three times 12 is 36. We're going to subtract, and 36 subtract 36 is zero. So now we have our remainder of zero. We know that our quotient is going to be positive three. And that's our final practice problem for today. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today to review how to divide decimals and also how to determine if the prod uh, quotient of two rational numbers is positive or negative. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.